What did you say? At this point, you're probably wondering, what's up with the double front kung fu kick on this stuffed animal? Well, first of all, he's an asshole. But secondly, well, let's go back to 2019 when I created a video called 2x2 Road to World Record part one. I started a series of videos where I practiced two by two with a goal breaking the national record average of my country, Belgium, which stands at 2.5 seconds. I called it road to world record for the views, okay? I lied. It was also during these videos that this alpaca became my nemesis. Where's my cube? Where is it? However, I got pretty good at two by two, averaging around three seconds in competitions and even better than that at home. But since all competitions got cancelled, I kinda quit practicing 2x2 and then my channel took off and after over a year of not practicing 2x2, all of my OG viewers keep asking me to bring back the series. I miss it a lot. So last week I practiced 2x2 from Monday till Friday to see if I could beat the national record on a live stream while everyone was watching. I documented those days in this video, so enjoy. And oh, let's finish this first. The last 2x2 video I uploaded was over a year ago. It has been more than a year when I practiced 2x2 because I haven't done any serious 2x2 practice ever since. So I think I have forgotten everything. One five seven. Of course, I'm ending this session with a plus two. So finally, my average is 4.43. I did an average of 12 souls, but in competitions, we do averages of five where the slowest and the fastest time do not count. Just the average of the middle three times. Here's the thing. I used to average low two seconds, so I'm almost twice as slow as I used to be. We have some work to do. And the first thing I'm gonna do is set up this cube. This cube right here is again 251M Leap. It is a $39 cube. You know, if I have a $40 2 by 2 laying around, I'm a use it. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, after setting it up, I almost would be willing to spend 40 bucks on this cube. Anyways, if thanks to this video you wanna practice 2x2 two too, two, I have some personal 2x2 two two recommendations in the description for every price range, starting from just a few dollars, so check it out if you want to. I can't believe I forgot to mention to use discount code CUBED for a huge discount. What an idiot, I spit on you. Anyways, what I have right here is a spreadsheet with all the best 2x2 algorithms. And I can be certain that these are the best 2x2 algorithms because this is Will's spreadsheet, like Will Callen, potentially the best 2x2-er in the world. A lot of top 2x2-ers actually collaborate and made a spreadsheet with all the best 2x2 algorithms. So we have PBL algorithms. These are the most basic algorithms. Then we have CLL, EG1, EG2, and all the other stuff that I do not know anything about. And if you don't know anything about this either, and you're like, EG, does that stand for extra German? Anyways, here's a recap of the 2x2 basics. When solving a 2x2, you always start off by making a site using common sense. Either you build a soft layer, or two pieces swap the JSON, or swap diagonally. As a beginner, you would then do an OLL algorithm to make the top face as well, followed by a PBL algorithm. This method is known as Ortega and is the easiest method with only 12 algorithms. As you get faster though, you want to be able to do the last two steps simultaneously. So solve a side and solve everything else in one algorithm. If you have a solved layer, you use a CLL algorithm. If you have an adjacent swap at the bottom, you use an EG1 algorithm. And if you have a diagonal swap at the bottom, you use an EG2 algorithm. Each set has 40 algorithms, and if you know all of them, you know full EG. And you are a total badass! Anyways, my goal for today is to learn all the CLL algorithms, or should I say, relearn 
some of them because I do not know how many algorithms I still know. This is gonna be super boring. I'm just gonna time lapse however long my camera can still record. Look guys, Will is working on the spreadsheet as well. He's he's doing one look less layer. <laughs> There's probably like a gazillion cases of this, but anyways, let's get, <laughs> let's get back to my CLL. I have to say all the algorithms are still somewhere in my head. It's kind of easy to relearn all the algorithms. Like it is going at a really fast pace right now. There's a street right next to me, so you're probably not gonna hear anything I'm saying, but I'm just gonna do some casual souls getting used to CLL. And I wanna sit outside because it's beautiful weather right now. Once I'm used to CLL, I'm gonna do some more serious souls inside. So I forgot one of my PBL algorithms and I couldn't think of it. But then I remember that I made a post like more than a year ago with my PBL algorithms on Instagram. That was so random. Alright, I'm going back inside right now. So I did a little over 200 souls outside and my best average of 5 is 1.97. Woohoo! Well, if I can do it right now, then I should be able to do it in two days as well, right? Well, there's one issue. A big issue. This is a stack mat timer. It is what we have to use to time our souls in competition. And because 2x2 is such a short event, the time it takes to pick up and stop the timer is a crucial aspect to take in account. Especially if you plus 2 your souls, you idiot. So let's see how I fare with a stack mat timer. So finally, after 102 souls using the stack mat timer, I have an average below 2.5 seconds, 2.44 to be exact. This takes way too long. Like if I would do it live right now, you guys would be looking at me and I would be, <gasps> I would be super nervous. This would not happen. So I need more practice. I need to get better really, really fast. Let me tell you a story. So two days ago, the gyms reopened in Belgium. So I went to the gym yesterday and I got something in my bag. So no practice yesterday. <sighs> But anyways, today is live stream day and I want to talk about one thing today and that is a little issue. Let me explain. I basically have three steps to solve the cube. So I make a layer, step one. I recognize which case I have, which is the second step. Then I solve it, which is the last step. Now, because 2x2 two two is such a short event, you want to eliminate every pause you have. And to eliminate the middle step, we have one looking. One looking a solve is being able to plan out the entire solve during your inspection so that you can eliminate all pauses. One looking is really difficult and takes a lot of practice, but it's crucial to get fast times. However, if you have an easy first layer, one looking is much easier. So I guess that's what we're hoping for. I will practice this right now for the last hour and hopefully Hopefully I will have mastered one looking in an hour. Please kill me. Guys, I just set up the live stream. I'm trembling. My tactic right now is this. Just hope for lucky scrambles, because I have not mastered one looking. I don't think I will one look a single soul. <laughs> So once again, my goal is to beat the national Belgian record average, which is 2.5 seconds on live stream right now. Wish me luck, guys. So I have been practicing the last five days. I have been practicing two by two again, just... So what you're currently seeing is the live stream. I did it, I know the results, but you don't. So let's talk over it. After plus twoing my first solve... Ah, oh, yes, I plus twoed my first solve. <laughs> I did pretty decent and after 10 souls, my best average was already 2.7. Guys, we're so close already. It's only 0.2 seconds of the national record. And then I got even closer. Ooh, 2.64. We're already so close to beating the national record. Oh, then for no, the next I few souls, I was kind of losing hope because oh, I wasn't getting any closer. Yeah. Until... One point one five seconds. Whoa. The entire souls consisted of twelve moves, which I executed in one point one seconds. So that was more than ten turns a second. 
That was actually really fast turning. What I didn't know, however, is that I just broke the national record single. Which wasn't even the plan, but I did. So, one national record done, one to go. Oh, my heart is pounding right now. Come on. This is gonna be the one. Come on, come on. And perhaps I can use the good single to get a good average. Oh, why did I do it so slow? That was such a good solve. Easy solve, but execution not that come great. Come on, come on. Uh, oh no, this is not a good scramble. That was bad. Another come bad on. solve, which means that the next come two on, solves to need to be good to in order for me to break the record. Accounting 3 and accounting 2.2, okay, which okay. means that there That's is a bad. possibility for me to break the national That's record not bad. right now. Guys, I don't know why I'm so nervous. This is such a stupid... This is... Okay, what the hell? I literally got a one-move layer right now, which is super rare. And I knew I could one-look this, but I wasn't saying anything because I was super nervous. Because if I got a good time right now, this would be the record. And a good time, I got... Yes! Yes! A 2.28 average of 5. Oh my god. Yes, guys, we did it. We did it! Congrats, buddy. The hard work did pay off. Thanks to my mom for raising me. Thanks to Pablo for motivating me. Uh, I do day. not know what Thanks I was saying right here. Guys, <laughs> so I got the record, but perhaps I could do even better? No way. After getting another one second solve, I could get a really good average. Only one of the next two solves needed to be really good. Yes, dropping my cube. So the first one wasn't it. If this is a good solve, I can potentially even get a sub-2 average. That would be insane. So it all depends on this solve. A plus 2. Without the plus 2, this would be a 2.1 average of 5. Guys, I hate myself. Why did I plus 2 that solve? Obviously, I was super upset about that. And I didn't come close to breaking this average in the rest of the live stream. But perhaps this is just the right way to end Road to World Record. For now, at least. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. And thanks so much for 100,000 subscribers. I didn't see this coming and I love all of you guys. Also, feel free to watch the older episodes of Road to World Record. But beware, they are very cringy and bad. I, I wasn't so good at YouTube back then, okay? But yeah, ciao guys.